Good morning. Quick nine wise. We just got in seven film festivals last week. I'll post it, man. I, the most incredible film, I most accomplished film I, I've ever done. All right, Maya Angelou on the coin. It's a great gesture. I guess we say much appreciated, but it's a distraction. I don't want like symbolic wins. I want tangible. Will they just give us what they owe us? And we'll leave you alone forever. Right? That's the goal. But they know that we love trinkets, right? We love uh, cars, jewelry. We don't buy land when we get it. I'm in boxing, right? I cover boxing. I rarely see a fighter buy 20 acres of land in North Dakota, South Dakota, uh, Montana. You know the first thing they buy? Chains, jewelry. They take their girlfriend to uh, Bora Bora. But they never buy land. They know we like symbolic gestures. They know we love trinkets. I remember as a kid when my mom used to tell me the exact, I need this type of cheese for my macaroni and cheese. And I would bring mild instead of sharp, right? No, that's not what I want or, or vice versa, right? And I'll have to go back to the store and get what she desired. Or how about your best friend or former best friend or one of your friends that say, hey, I got tickets to uh, to go to this after hour spot. No, give me my $500 you owe me, man, and things will be better. We're falling in love with trinkets, man. Keep the main thing. Cut off all the fat, man. We don't. We don't need nothing extra. We need nothing more, nothing less. Pay, give me what you owe me and everything will be happy. We got to hold the government accountable for reparations. That is it. And we can separate ourselves from them because we got to stop saying we're the first black. You know what that means? They gave you permission. Do you understand that from a mindset perspective? Because they know you are, we are, you are, we are the fun, a piece of their foundation to their wealth. Do you understand that from a, from a realistic perspective, not a hope perspective, not, uh, we got a hope for change. No, get down or lay down. Like that's, that's just it, man. I, I, I think we got to love and respect ourselves at 100 percent we want to be liked we want to be loved we let everybody in man maya angelo with all due respect i'm willing to bet my maya angelo would want reparations over a coin where her name on it. she would rather all of us get coins than her be on a quarter that's just what i believe you know what i mean and uh um, these symbolic gestures, man. The, the, the saddest part is the wealthy, our wealthy, we say we want separation, but the first thing they do, guess what? They give a million dollars to their oppressor. They give a half a million dollars to their oppressor. Jewelry, cars, diamonds. But we want to be free. Make it make sense. Make it make, I don't, un, make it make sense. And this is a basketball player, football player, baseball player. Listen, every year at the Drew League, every year, about 10 NBA players come up to me, Fred, man, you got to get me on this property game, man. You got to teach me this. You got to teach me that. NBA All-Stars, uh, great NBA players. They all talk to me like, Fred, man, I, I know you're doing well because they know when I started. Right when my they know when I started this journey, they were rookies and first years in the NBA, and I would talk to them a lot more. But now I only see them in the summertime. And oh, you got to get me on. You got to teach me this. You got to teach me that. I look on their Instagram. They got a new car. <laughs> they don't really want to learn. You want trinkets? You know what another trinket is? Maya Angelou on the back of the quarter, on the front of the quarter. You know what I mean? I love y'all at the end of the day, man, but this Barack Obama hope thing that we rooting for, and, and we got to hold our quote-unquote leaders accountable. 
I, I sh anyways, man, y'all have a great day. Uh, if I'm the only one that believes this, then I'm the only one that believes. But I know, oh gosh, I, 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 I just, it's overwhelming sometimes when you see the play and, not, and nobody else sees it but me. George Floyd gets a statue. Where's, how come qualified immunity is still in play? All, every Democrat of note went to his funeral, right, in Houston. Remember that? Everyone took advantage of that. That was like a Democratic convention. Remember all those? And then on his birthday, well, you can come have a lunch and dinner at the White House. But uh, we ain't helping your black ass. <laughs> And then you know what we do? Oh, it's okay. We got to play their game. We going to go buy jewelry. We going we going we going to celebrate getting signed by them. We going to sell. Man, listen. Fred don't want nothing from nobody, man. Like I I understand the game. I fully grasp the realities of what I have to do to be successful. I got to hunt and kill and plant and grow. I got to I got to hunt and kill, plant and grow myself. And that's just the real. I love y'all, man. And uh, I, 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 I saw everyone reposting it. Yeah, it's a great gesture. And we always want to acknowledge our ancestors and, and how beautiful they are and how much they represented to all of us. But at the end of the day, I never asked for Malcolm X national holiday. Mm -mm. It is a national holiday for me. It is. It's a big party. My grandfather's birthday. I acknowledge it. Big party. I don't need no government telling me what, where, when, how. This ain't no motherfucking uh, five sentence paragraph. I got to live and abide by. I'm gone. I got to go work out. Barbershop Conversations. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. And uh, click the link below for Nine Wives on YouTube. Click the link above on Instagram. I love y'all, man. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.